Hey guys, today we're doing a review of Between the Bookends. This is the January box. They are for girls, I think they actually might have one that's for boys or girls at this point, but they are for girls between the ages of like five, six, all the way up to 16. So if you have a girl between five and 16, you need this book box. This is Tiffany, the Happy Homeschooler. I have a code of how to get 15% off your first subscription book box in the description. So be sure to check that out so you guys can get in on this wonderful book box that we have had all year. It has been wonderful, all of 2021 to be specific. Not all of this year, this is in our first one. Okay, so we're gonna go through the book box right now. Okay. So they always give us this handy dandy little like what's inside the book box, but we don't want to look at it yet. We don't want to look at it yet. <laughs> that way we can be surprised and see what's in here. This bu book box, this between the bookends book box doesn't just come with books. It comes with all these goodies and like fun, useful things that you can use. And my daughter loves all these other items <laughs> just as much, if not more than the books that come in the book box. <laughs> okay. First one is donut band-aids. These are so cute and they're shiny. Are they shiny inside too? I think so. I didn't check. Oh, these are super cute. Yeah, they're actually super cute. They're little donuts. That's adorable. So what is this, Rosie? A magnet? Yeah. <clears throat> so they send this cute little gummy magnet. Oh, what is this? You're gonna make your own cake. It's a cake single, so buttery vanilla cake bursting with celebra celebration sprinkles. Oh. Uh, they, um, they might have their own sprinkles in there. I think they might. Oh my goodness, this is so cool and so unique. So it's just a cake mix, and you mix it into a mug, heat it in the microwave, and that's it. It's cake. done. Cake flat looks delicious. If there's no cake sprinkles in there, then we might have to. Maybe you have sprinkles. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, the next is strawberry soap. I love that all of these things are actually usable. Soap is usable. The donut bandages are useful. The cake, I, won't, I don't know if I'd say useful, but consumable at least. Yummy. And the soap bars. Mm. Ooh, yeah. It smells good. amazing. Yep, super, super good, awesome. Okay, we also love the bath truffles when she gets either bath bombs or bath truffles. Did you have something you wanna say? No, I've never had a bath truffle before though. Well, it's just like bath bombs. Yeah, except different. So directions, crumble under warm running water and enjoy. Ooh, I might have to have a bath with one of these bath bombs. Oh, no, no, no. Then we have uh bookmark super fun i think that starting in the february book box we'll be getting a pin and a bookmark with every single book box which is fun because we like to put pins on our backpacks and we are pin people so i'm really excited for those the next one is life is better with sprinkles and top and it's a little donut keychain super cute and a pom-pom. And a pom-pom. Sorry, I can't forget the pom-pom. <laughs> okay, we've got one more item underneath the books, and then we'll look at the books. Okay. Ooh, these are coasters. Yeah, Daddy told me. The owners, the founders of the Between the Bookends box, they always shop small. So these are coming from oh my little shops. I run a doll. Oh, right. We're all doll. We, we like that author. It says, somewhere inside of all of us is the power to change the world by Roald the doll. And then on the other one, somebody's holding the Ooh, I like that. That's so cool. Well, that's awesome. So yeah, this they always take note of who they're getting their items from. So I really love on this little cheat sheet, it gives you all the people, all the shops featured. And so that way we can support the small shops, which I'm totally supportive of. Like, I love that we can do that. I love that we can go back and find more items from these people and from these shops. And I'm really excited about that. Okay, so 
we've done this before we look at these books I wanted to let you know that we've got so many good books from between the bookends I think I'm gonna do a whole video featuring the books from between the bookends boxes I'm gonna show you guys the different books that have come over the last year and I don't even think that's all of them I think we have a few more floating around that aren't on that bookshelf but we have gotten so many good books and I have really, really enjoyed them. So we get the tween book and box and I would definitely recommend the, the early readers age. I've gotten that for my nieces. I think that's a great option for the younger girls. And then these books are more of like the 10 to 10 to 14 age range. And yeah, so that's what you're going to see on the screen is those ones that are for that like tween age, right? So probably like 10 to 14, but they do go all the way up to teens and they go all the way down to early readers. I also love that the ones that we've gotten so far, she can read them on her own and Rosalie is almost 10. She can read them on her own and I've also read some out loud to her and they are so good. And the books are not just for 10 year old girls. My 13 year old son really enjoyed the last one that he read from Between the Bookheads box as well. So it's definitely not confined to such a small range, but it is geared, the box itself is geared toward her age, which just, okay. just as a note. Okay, so now the books, Woo -hoo, we finally made it, we managed the books. This one is called Cosmic Commandos and it is a graphic novel. So it's like comics here. And I'll be honest, this is not Rosalie's cup of tea. Rosie's not gonna read this book. But my younger boys will really enjoy it. In fact, they uh, already peeked at the box. I did not. And I know they're going to enjoy looking through this and reading this one. And then these other books will be for her. <laughs> okay, first one is called Everything is Less Terrible with Donuts. That is the truth. The Donut Fix. The Donut Fix. Can Tris bake his way out of boredom in his new town? Tristan isn't gifted or talented like his sister Janine, and he's always been okay with that because he can make a perfect chocolate chip cookie and he lives in the greatest city in the world. But his life takes a turn for the worse when his parents decide to move to middle of nowhere Petersville, a town with one street and no restaurants. His suspicions about his new town are confirmed when he's tricked into believing the local general store has life-changing chocolate cream donuts when in fact the owner hasn't made them in years. And so begins the only thing that could make life in Petersville worth living. Getting the recipe, making the donuts, and bringing them back to the town through his very own donut stand. But Tristan will soon discover that when starting a business, it helps to be both gifted and talented, and it's possible he's bitten off more than he can chew. This looks really good. I've actually wanted to read this book for a while. I had seen something about it from sunlight and so I had wanted to read it and I'm so excited it came in her book box. Brave the Page, A Young Writer's Guide to Telling Epic Stories. Ooh, what is this? Do you have a story to tell? An idea for a book? Just want to write? If you answered yes to any of the above, nano, nano, right, mo. NaNoWriMo, this is not a real word, is here to help. Learn to develop, craft, and hone your story from start to finish with this official Young Writer's Guide. Equipped with tr tips, tools, and best practices, you'll embark on an ambitious journey toward achieving your writing goals with NaNoWriMo's signature goal plus deadline approach. So this is not a book like a novel. This is a how to write book, which is actually really good too. So Between the Bookends doesn't just send books. They have sent some amazing additional items. This is probably my favorite thing that we've ever gotten from a Between the Bookends box. I don't remember what month this came in. It came with this and two other books, just like in this book box where it came with two books and then one additional like helper for learning how to write. Sometimes she gets journals, sometimes she gets games, like she's gotten Mad Libs. I mean, oh, mommy, they yeah. give you a journal sometimes and they also give you like a special thing. Yeah. They always give amazing things, don't they? Yeah. They have the best items in there. Every month it's like, it's, yeah. So this one is about writing cards. And I don't know about you and your daughters, but I used to love writing cards. And I want my daughter to get to write cards too and share that. So she has this whole guide to writing happy mail. <laughs> and in the back, there's actual cards. 
But there's also, so there's fun cards back here, but also they give just so many great examples of things you can do, different cards you can make. They've got tips, ideas to start. They've got different fonts. They've got card options and how to decorate your envelope. Like just actually genuinely very happy mail. And we have really enjoyed this. She's made a number of the suggested cards in here. And I don't know, have you mailed any of these ones? Like, have you put, pulled any off and mailed them? I don't know. I don't think so. These she has colored in, though. She started coloring them with her markers. So all the things that came in this book box, three books, Cosmic Commandos, all this, <laughs> the donut fix, and Brave the Page. And my daughter just started learning how to type, and it shows a computer, so maybe she should be doing these Braving the Page assignments on the laptop and learning how to type her stories. Cosmic. Very nice. <laughs> then we've got the Humble Bath Company Bath Truffles. Mine. Oh the Cake Single. Oh, well, that might just disappear one night. Donut Bandages. The Super Yummy Soap Bar. Let's set it up. Let's see. We've got the little Jelly Bear Pen. Or magnet. I keep calling it a pen. It's a magnet. <laughs> and then we've got the awesome little keychain. And since you don't have a key, you know, key set yet, a car yet, maybe, maybe mommy should have this one. Um, donuts. I could play with them like that. Oh, sorry. Again, don't forget to check out the link and then look and see if you've got a daughter between 5 and 16, which of these book boxes would be the best fit for you. And then use my code so you can get 15% off. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys again really soon.